Then the fourth thing that I see very often on, on Etsy, and it's usually the first thing, you know, when someone is asking for a shop critique that uh, everybody points at, it's the quality of the pictures. The items that you make, you know by heart. You've had them in your hands, you've made them, you see them every day under every possible angle, and so there's no doubt for you what they are. But the customer will never have them until they purchase them. They, the only thing they will see are the photographs. And so you have uh, to make those photographs as appealing as possible, not misleading, but they must be good quality photographs which will showcase your items properly so that uh, people think that, oh, it's a nice item. But also who will describe your item. So see, uh, show it from different angles, make sure the colors are really accurate because this is uh, something important. And you know that every screen, every camera will bring a bias to the colors. So you have to learn how to do that. And this is a skill again that you're going to have to learn, you know, how to take good photographs and how to edit them properly so that you, your uh, customers, your end customers, has a good, accurate idea of what they're buying. Otherwise, you'll have uh, problems with your customers if they buy in the first place. Okay. Then the fifth mistake is not optimizing your uh, tags and titles and your shop in general for search engines. I've told you that there are millions of shops on the internet, okay? And if you're going to be able to be found among those millions, then you need to make sure that the items in your shop match the search criteria that the customers are going to look for. So there is this term SEO, which stands for search engine optimization that you're going to have to learn about what it is and how to master it. Okay, master may be a strong word because it's, it's, it's kind of a constant work in progress, but there are rules and I'm going to talk about that again in a later video. So uh, for first uh, approach, uh, understand that if someone on Etsy is looking for a blue and red pendant, they're not going to type in the search bar blue and red polymer clay pendant, or they're not going to type blue and red a fabric pendant or a blue and red glass pendant. They're just going to type blue and red pendant. And one mistake that I see a lot of makers uh, make, okay, uh, is that they use industry terms in their uh, titles and tags because for them it's the logical way to describe the, the piece. But the end customers know nothing about your industry and they don't know what those terms mean and they will never use them in a search. So when you're writing titles and tags, you have to make sure that you're doing that in a way which will match what customers may be looking for. Okay, and this is a, a, again a whole set of, th of uh, skills to acquire. So I'm not trying to scare you, okay, off selling your uh, products on Etsy, just to make you aware that it is a lot of work and it will require you to learn new things. And if you're not prepared to do that, then maybe selling online isn't um, the good thing for you to do. Okay, so don't forget to hit uh, subscribe before you go. And if you want more goodies, more free goodies, just check the link in the description below. And I'll see you later. Au revoir.